Hey, welcome to the Jet Experience. We're at a special, real quick edition of Magic Kingdom and actually Disney World, uh, Walt Disney World in general. So what we're doing today is we're gonna go to what we have kind of classified um, as some of the scariest or maybe even spookiest rides at Walt Disney World. Some of them are scary just for the thrills and some are like Haunted Mansion, of course, which are actually scary. Uh, and you know commemoration of halloween time so join us on this experience so it's it's awfully familiar uh, you know being on main street and seeing very similar decorations as disneyland but we noticed this one particular one right here it's a snowman of pumpkins that is very cool jack skellington would be proud and then as you look down main street you can see it completely adorned with the orange and yellow tapestries and then the Mickey pumpkins with the autumn colored wreaths. All right, so first up, and I should, I should mention that these are in no particular order, uh, not least to most scary or whatever. It's just, it's really just the order in which we're able to get to them as we can't park hop until two o'clock. So we're starting at Magic Kingdom and the very first one, which you can start to see coming into view in the, in the background, is Space Mountain. We, we picked this one because obviously it's a, it's a high thrill roller coaster. And then you add in how dark it is in the ride. And that just adds for a certain level of scary that maybe not everybody will be into. So we definitely like this ride. So we're going to hit this number one. All right. We are on and ready to go. I got front row. This is supposed to be really good in the low light, so let's see if we're able to get good shots. Tight circle, tight circle. Ah! Oh, it tricks you out. And we're done. All right, we're heading into Liberty Square for the second and final ride for our list in Magic Kingdom, and probably the most obvious ride in all of Walt Disney World to make this list, the Haunted Mansion. So what's most exciting is we just recently did Disneyland, which has the holiday Haunted Mansion up, but Walt Disney World does not do that. So we get to experience both versions of the mansion within a very short period of time. All right. We're passing through the gates. We're still got a bit of a line, but here's a really nice shot of the building. Spirits will materialize only if you remain quietly seated at all times. If you should decide to join us, final arrangements may be made at the end of the tour. There's a little matter I forgot to mention. Beware of hitchhiking ghosts. <laughs> they have selected you to fill our quota, and they'll haunt you until you return. All right, we're all done in Magic Kingdom, so we're heading back to the parking lot as quick as we can. We can park hop officially in about 15 minutes. 
So we're going to drive over to Animal Kingdom, which will take us a little more than 15 minutes to get there, uh, and then knock out a couple of the rides there, which we'll bring to you very shortly. All right, we made it over to Animal Kingdom, and we're over at Dino Land USA for what we're going to call the first scary ride here in the form of a dinosaur, which you can see us walking up to the gates right now. Really short wait, so theoretically it's basically going to be a walk-on. Now for those who have not been on this ride but have gone to Disneyland, the ride is identical to Indiana Jones except for it's dinosaur themed instead of Indiana Jones themed but the car is the same. Uh, if you know that ride well you'll know the turns that this car is going to make before it makes him. So as you see, scary dinosaurs. That is not a scary dinosaur. Let's go get that dino. Computer, what are you tracking? It's Dyracosaurus. Not our dino. Time to get serious. Locked in autopilot on homing signal now. Hang on! Abort! Abort! Iguanodon. Forget it! Get them out now! So we're all done on Dinosaur, which is one of our more favorite rides in the entire Walt Disney World Resort. And peeking through the trees, you can see number two of two over here at Animal Kingdom, which is Expedition Everest. So they don't have a Matterhorn here, of course, but this is kind of the closest thing to it. It's not really anything like it, but what they share in common is this has a Yeti in it. So that in and of itself is scary enough, not to mention the backwards moving roller coaster. All right, we've had to don the umbrella again because once again, it's starting to sprinkle, but I've got the umbrella for the camera, not even myself. Uh, so the other thing that's uh, you know scary about that roller coaster, which I didn't mention how it goes backwards, but what's probably hard to tell or see in the video is that once it starts to go backwards, it immediately banks hard to the left. I think it's the left, but we're so, all over the place it's hard to tell and it just it spins it in a really tight circle so the g-force is skyrocket and i don't remember it being as bad as i felt at that time if we got done and now she said i'm done i'm done, I'm done. <laughs> but but what she doesn't know is we still have rock and roller coaster to go on nope. so I, i'm gonna try i'm gonna alone. i'm gonna work on convincing her to go on it um probably to no avail but we'll try anyway but it's, uh, yeah, it just, it felt like for a moment, like we were spinning in circles upside down. And I know we're not because it's just a little lap bar. But if you like roller coasters, you'll probably like that one. If you don't, you'll probably be scared out of your mind. So that completes the two rides that we picked at Animal Kingdom. So now we're gonna run back to the car and zoom over to Hollywood Studios to be the third park of the day.
All right, we're over at Hollywood Studios, third park of the day so far. And the two that we want to do are right next to each other. But the first one, zooming in on that you can see us walking toward, is the Hollywood Tower Hotel, Tower of Terror. So for obvious reasons, it's uh, you know an entire spooky movie made after this. And I believe they're in the works of making a new one. But for obvious reasons, uh, you know, this likes to go up and then plummet. Plus it's based on um, ghosts and the Twilight Zone. So another very fitting ride for this list. <laughs> oh, here we go. That door is opening once again. Oh, this looks this awesome on the camera. <laughs> you were about to discover what lies beyond the yep. dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest point of imagination. <laughs> In the tower it's so dark. Oh <laughs> All right, in the last, the, the second of two rides, and the last ride of the day for our list, right next to the Tower of Terror is the Rock and Roller Coaster featuring Aerosmith. Scary because it's just a super high thrill roller coaster, which once again, roller coasters can be extremely scary to people. And as we, uh, could have noted on the last ride there was a young family right next to us and the boy who was probably about eight or nine refused to get on on the tower of terror so uh, he planted his feet and started like sobbing uncontrollably so uh unfortunately mom and, and the uh young boy had to stay off the ride so like i said scary ride So that's gonna wrap up our count of scary and spooky rides at Walt Disney World. We did two each in three different parks. We didn't head over to Epcot. Um, there was one we might have included in there, but perhaps we'll do that on a follow-on video. But let us know if you guys uh, agree with us or if there's any rides that you think are particularly scary that you'd add to the, uh, to the list. 
drop it in a comment below. But we really hope you like this video. If so, please give us that thumbs up. It really helps the channel. And then please consider subscribing to the channel. If you ring the bell below, you get notifications of all of our future videos. As always, please be kind and be real and join us on our next experience.